so um, I, I'm a full professor in uh, computational engineering at the Sienkiewicz Center for Computational Engineering. Uh, it's part of a uh, College of Engineering within Swansea University. I also head the Sienkiewicz Center for Computational Engineering, uh, which has about 40 academic staff. I also lead the research impact for the, for the whole university. And when I started my PhD work, I decided to go, no particular reason, to, to do uh, modeling, uh, finite element modeling. And uh, that actually thrown lots of challenges, which, which leads to lots of excitement. You know, the discovery of, of, of uh, methods in modeling is, is quite, quite exciting. So that's how I ended up in doing uh, modeling. Uh, and, and it's kind of led to my, my research career. Nowadays, it's quite standard for majority of the engineering industries to actually use computational methods. So civil engineering, building structures, I think finite element method is always involved in the design process. Take aerospace engineering, for example, building of uh, aircrafts. It's although it's lots of experiments are done, but lots of checks are done to evolve the design of, of the aircrafts towards the final prototype. For me, personally, something which makes a step change in the discovery. What I like is something out of the blue, which was never kind of thought of, and it's very useful. Right? Meaning, kind of purely original first paper in that particular uh, field or particular aspects of computational engineering. That is probably one of the best. For computational engineering, especially computational biomedical engineering, we have the set of rules again. For example, uh, if I get a paper which deals with a standard problem using standard method, that's not progress. It's kind of reject. Right? On the other hand, if I have a standard problem solved using a new technology, that's novel. Also, if we have a standard method used to solve a new problem that's new to us. Although they are incremental, it's, it's actually uh, novel. If we can get a combination of new problem with a new method, it's even better. Um, for the youngsters, what's my advice? It's uh, be patient, don't rush and publish too many bad papers are too many substandard papers which, which can have long-lasting effect in your uh, career. One bad paper is often remembered for a very long time than a large number of good papers. That's from my experience.